We can uh, discuss uh, today's attacks and, and the implications surrounding it too with Ricardo Beretsky. He's the president of the European Centre for Information Policy and Security and he joins us now. Um, good evening to you. Thanks very much for coming on to RT. Look, uh, it is speculation. Nobody's sure exactly why this attack took place today, but clearly people are concerned about terrorism in Europe and our edge. And logically, this is a concern they have when they see uh, an incident like this today. Well... What is important to understand here is that any attack on people of this nature is a form of terror attack, whether they belong to a specific group or not. And uh, that is the fundamental point. A second point that we have to pay attention to is that they're horribly failing in understanding the modern terrorist. The, you know, the, the, the problem here is, is that they, they have to begin to understand, we've said that time and again, that many of the authorities fail to understand the type of terrorism they're dealing with. If we go back in Israel and we look in the 86 roundabout, right the same type of events happened. And it wasn't until two or three years later, closer to 89, when they realized what type of terror they're dealing with. And we are witnessing the same in Europe, just on a much larger scale. Um, is there any significance? I mean, Switzerland, relatively speaking, isn't seen as a country that would be affected by attacks like this. Um, is there any significance attached to that, or do we sh should we just look at this as violent crime and violent crime can occur anywhere? Well, no. Uh, you know, and we've said this also in the past, what we have to pay attention here is that the potential of terrorists working in sleeping cells, and there's a very strong probability that... This is a geomapping structure. So if, if you can look at uh, where the attacks is happening over the last year, um, it shows you the span of geolocation. And I think this is a very clear message, one way or another, uh, that, that there's a problem on a much larger geo scale. And, and that is the danger that uh, the, without a proper international coordination, they are bound to fail. What sort of coordination should we have them, Ricardo, because you pointed out as being a problem. What should happen and what should people do that they're not doing at the moment? Well, one of the big problems is we don't have the international system in place as it should be for sharing data. The second one we have said before is we need a judicial system that is cross-border. You cannot have 28 nation states, all the neighbours around and everybody does their own thing. Um, and, and they have to bring these two factors together. So the, inf the, the information sharing with, together with the uh, JHA, Justice Home Affairs, have to work together. And they have to do it on an international scale, not on national scale. The time that is done on national scale is over. They have to realize this. And, and if they don't realize, it's going to get a lot worse. And I suppose, again, we do stress we don't know the reasons for today's attack, but if it turns out, Ricardo, that it is a lone wolf attack, doesn't it just show how difficult it is to protect everybody all the time? It's impossible. Yes and no. You know, the, the problem here is, is that uh, radicalisation and self-radicalisation, which is the key of the modern terrorist, um, that the organisation doesn't have to claim responsibility to be involved. They neither do have to claim responsibility of actually knowing the sus subject or the suspect. The way it works in modern terrorism is very different, and we've seen it change rapidly over the last three years. And, and, and either way, the influences that leads to the subject to commit such horrible crime must have an origin, and that origin more than likely is from a single source. OK, look, Ricardo, we have to leave it there for the moment. But uh, good to talk to you. That was Ricardo Boretsky, president of the European Centre for Information Policy and Security. Thank you. Thank you.